Hi, it's Sandy, and um, I've had to do one or two takes at this because it's just um, been a bit glitchy. But I just thought I'd pop on and give you an update as to where we are with the um, with the Kickstarter campaign for the Rose Oracle update and um, second edition. It's um, we have now till the uh, end of the week to complete the Kickstarter crowdfunder campaign. So I've just got just four days. Currently there are 95 backers for the project, but there's still a way to go. So I've come on to encourage you, if you feel in any way, to support the work and to pre-order your Oracle deck or any of the other pledges, or just, just to support the, the, the process, I would be extremely grateful. The clearer we can get, the closer we can get to the um, total figure, the closer we are to actually having this um, second edition oracle printed. What's happened is the, um, the costings, because of Brexit, um, have gone up and up. The, the pound rate against other currencies is really not in a very strong place. So it couldn't be the worst, it couldn't be a worse time really to be doing this kind of project, such an unknown. But the, the roses are telling me that they are wanting to go forward with this, they are wanting to be printed again in this updated form. So there'll be 52 rows uh, frequencies and they really are, you know, light technologies. They're light, they're divine feminine light technologies of love. And they are so set for this, this whole pathway into holding this new earth template for us. So if there is any way in which you can support this project either by pre-ordering or selecting one of the other pledges or just by being able to um, support I would be very very grateful we are yeah we are away from the target just now and Kickstarter is an all-or-nothing process so crowdfunding with Kickstarter means that you have to get the whole pledge um, the whole amount that you're asking for or the um, the whole thing doesn't go ahead. So yeah, if there's any way in which you can help, if there is any way in which you've already pledged and you'd like to include a rose reading, a personal rose reading for you, or you could order a second oracle deck as a gift for a loved one, that would be wonderful too. Um, yeah. And I'm uh, just very grateful for any support that I can, I can receive at this point. And I thought that it would be nice as I was on um, live to do a rose reading. So let's see what the rose might, what rose focus there may be for this week. So just asking for guidance from the roses. And let's see what what they what the wisdom of the roses has to share with us at this time. Hmm. <laughs> you know that the roses never um, are backwards going forwards. The rose that's come forward for this week is rose eight. And Rose 8 sits at the back of your heart. She's, you know, she's one of the two heart chakra roses. And she sits like someone would put a warm hand on your back in comfort. And she says, I've got your back. This is, this is the strength and the resourcefulness of the heart field. She, you know, she is the piece that sits at the back that allows for the radiance of the heart field and is that sort of inner strength and that inner knowing. 
you'll see she looks a little bit like coral. She has sort of form to her that, that actually holds so beautifully and so gracefully. And actually, if you look right in the center of this rose, and I've, I'll just put her right up to the camera, you can see that there is a guardian at the gateway on this rose. Um, and uh, she's this divine feminine figure that sits at the, at the gateway into that inner heart, into the inner temple, the inner knowing in the heart field. So there she is. She is the rose focus for this week. A little, a little bonus extra. Thank you so much for coming um, and uh, joining me on the live um, video and as I say if you are inspired by the roses if you feel that it would be just wonderful to have your own copy of the brand new second edition Rose Oracle I really encourage you to um, connect with the, with the Kickstarter campaign and support the process to enable me to um, effortlessly and easily manifest to produce this oracle for the heart in its second edition. I will put um, as a link in the feed for this the link to be able to pledge on the Kickstarter campaign and um, thank you so much. Thank you for me and the roses. Bye for now. Bye bye.